right, here we go. We got the flat white base coat. All the pieces been primed and a coat of flat white on it. Now I'm going to go with the start with the airbrushing. I'm going to do a base coat on top of this <clears throat> uh, to get the initial color of the wood grain. Uh, most of the stuff is going to have the wood grain on it. Right, here we go. We got the first coat of color on. It's a light brown with a couple drops of yellow. And I'm going to do like the end of the log with the rings. Controller. The connect base. And the connect bar. Now I went ahead and did the case itself. That's what it's going to end up looking like. Alright, might look really dark in the picture. Alright, we got the airbrushing done. Okay, and we got the controller. Got the bottom. The stem, I guess you would say, from the base of the connect up to the connect bar. Goes up here, so the in-between piece. And we got the connect base. Turned out pretty good. <clears throat> then we have the connect bar. On the ends I did the end of the log look. do the Naruto symbol here. All right, well, we are, are almost done with paint. We got to do the, the Naruto symbol on the connect bar, the controller, I'm doing the symbol here. I'm going to do the inlay on the back start and the one, two, three, four here. And on the Microsoft here and the sync symbol here. Probably going to do the inlay also on the Xbox here and the memory unit A, memory unit B. I might leave that one out. Don't even really use them anyway. I right. also need to airbrush the leaves going across. Here we go. Got the leaves painted on there. Sorry, I didn't show you a step by step of that, but uh, we can come in here. What I did was I laid down the stencil, did a um, an opaque light green. And then I took a transparent green and highlighted the edges and the, the stems and the curves where they were folding up, folded over. Where you can see the other side. Uh, and then I detailed the stems a little bit further with the transparent green and uh, a paintbrush did the most of the stem work by hand. As you can see, the shadows I took the inside of the stencil, laid it over the leaf so it covered the green completely. And then I took the outside of the stencil and dropped it a little bit and then airbrushed the space 
in black. I just did a light misting of black so it would look like a shadow. I also filled in the, the Xbox 360, the eject button, um, the Xbox 360 on the Kinect, and on the base of the Kinect, which is that right there. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these apart. All my painting is done. I'm going to take these all apart and I'm going to put a nice thick coat of clear coat on it. And then after that, we'll start on the lights. Alright, well before we do the electrical, we need to get the plexiglass down. All I did was to get the general idea of how to cut out the plexiglass. I just took it and I stuck it onto the plexiglass. I'm going to trim it up to where it'll just fit. I'd say about I'd say about a half inch from the cutout. And you'll want to score it three or four times, make sure it's nice and deep, and then Put it on a corner, an edge. Sharper, the sharper the corner, the better. And you want to pop it, and it'll, it'll crack the where you scored it. And these, I will cut these out. I'm sorry, not cut them out. I'll drill them out. And this one, I will either attempt to drill it the small one first and then progressively get larger or I'll just get my Dremel cutting bit and just cut that out. Alright, here we go. Got it cut out. And then I took my uh, stepping drills. Um, did like four different sizes starting from smallest to the largest one that there. This one did break off on the second one, so I had to take my Dremel tool and just grind it out. Luckily it didn't crack into where it was going to show. That. Okay, that's how that's going to go. Of course I'm going to take all that backing off and everything. Get this glued. I just use... Um, it's super glue brand, but it's more of a more of a rubber cement. Let's see, super glue. I get this at uh, dollar store, and you just want to do a little bead right in the corner where the plexiglass meets the case, all the way around. Uh, after I glue it, I like to put some weights on it to keep it in place while it dries. This stuff takes maybe half hour to set to where I can move it again. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. We got the plexiglass in. It's looking pretty good. Got to mention, um, you know, I also do the glue in here and around the edges, and I already glued that piece in the floater right there. 